Hello fellow game collectors. Got a few pickups to show you today. I got in touch with a person on, on a Facebook yard sale group and they had these 15 Xbox 360 games uh, for $20. Amazing deal. Didn't have to talk them down at all. No haggling. Just saw it and went straight for it. So from that lot I got Ace Combat 6 which unfortunately is loose. That's the only loose game of the lot. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. Battlefield Bad Company 2. I uh, played the first one, haven't played the second one. Uh, Battlefield 3, which I actually think I liked it a little bit better than Battlefield 4. Mostly because I had a lot of issues with Battlefield 4 on Xbox 360 with it locking up and crashing. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, which actually is Black Ops 2. There's a Black Ops 2 disc inside of Black Ops case. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Chrome Hounds. Crisis 3. Dead Island Riptide Special Edition, which I had already recently picked up. Dead Space 2. I recently picked up the first one. I've heard it's a pretty good series. I haven't played it before. Defiance. Far Cry 3. And Halo Wars Limited Edition. I have the regular edition of this. I did not have this one. This is it's like a, so it comes with like a an art book. That you can so nice little art book. Halo. And um, and the game itself is in a steel case, so it's complete. So I was pretty happy to pick that one up, even though I already technically have it. Uh, Il Tu Sturmovic, which is a um, like a uh, World War uh, airplane firefighting game, which I haven't played, but I heard it's pretty good. And Mass Effect 2. So I was pretty tickled to get that lot for only $20. No haggling at all. Um, and then uh, the rest of my pickups are from um, uh, retro game stores. Well, I, I actually um, I did pick up this copy of Pro Wrestling for NES for $1 at my local thrift store. I uh, wasn't expecting to find anything that day, but started digging through a bin, and lo and behold, there was a random NES cart just sitting at the bottom of a bin. Uh, and uh, I picked up this uh, Shinobi at Goodwill for $5. It is sealed. So, I'm looking forward to, to trying it out. I've heard it's a pr pretty decent game. A little challenging. But I... I was expecting it to be about ten dollars because it was inside of a glass case and I could see the title but I couldn't see the price and when they pulled it out and it said five dollars I said yes I'm taking it so anyways uh, so the rest of these are from uh, a retro game store uh, Edward McKay uh, for any of you there in North Carolina there are a few locations of Edward McKay uh, it's a used bookstore but they also have video games uh, fair market value but still pretty good so they had um, like a bargain bin, so these were pretty cheap, uh, $3 for um, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge for uh, Game Boy, and I've actually been looking for this one for a while, Sonic Spinball, um, I used to own it, I don't know what happened to my copy, because I still have the manual, so they had, uh, it was just the, the box and, and the game, and I've already put my manual in here. But for three dollars, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, I remember playing this a lot as a kid. It's it's a fun game. It's pretty challenging, um, but I liked it. So it's just a, a Sonic pinball game. And then uh, picked up this copy of Pac-Man Versus and Pac-Man World Two. Um, my girlfriend's a big fan of Pac-Man, so we grabbed this. Uh, I actually realized that. Pac-Man Versus, it requires you to use a Game Boy Advance to play as Pac-Man, so I didn't have the cable to connect uh, my Game Boy Advance to my 
GameCube, but I recently bought that, so I gotta I haven't tried that out yet since I bought it. But uh, you do have to have that cable. Um, and I also had picked up a copy of Paper Mario for um, GameCube, but I had disc read issues, so I had to return it. So that is a, a perk of um, buying from one of these lo local retro game stores is they usually have a return policy if the game doesn't work. So yeah, you're paying fair market value, but at least you know you can return it if you have problems. So that's all I got today. Um, Sorry if I'm not sounding too, too great. I've been a little bit under the weather recently. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Be sure to like, comment, or subscribe.